Breaking news. I have gotten the evidence. This will not be that of video. Get out! Get out! Get out! <coughs> Run, oh. Crazy things are happening. Crazy things are happening. Problem. Problem. Another problem. Name is Asitonka Agri Abba and channel is called Asi Darling because I'm such a damn. <laughs> Hi guys, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel, it's your Acid Dali. Thank you for joining once again. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. And to all my OGs, you know what to do. Um, so early this morning, our star boy, Yo Edoche, <laughs> decided to hail the first wife. And basically, he just wrote number one, Undisputed. I don't know why I'm, I'm laughing because the kind of anger I felt, like how insulting is it? I know that people were there hailing him, you know, he's good, what you're doing is right. I feel like a lot of Nigerians are just hypocrites. If you believe that what he's doing is right, may so be unto your daughter. That you will give your daughter out at 18 to a 22-year-old jobless man that will promise heaven and earth. Your daughter will stay with him 17 years, give him four children, and then he will find it needful to say, nah, she's number one and so on is number two. If you're okay with it, stamp it with your chest. Let it happen to you now. Let it happen. Let's not act and, and start judging other people's responses and saying, what, why are social media people overreacting? What is their business? And act as if it, if it happened to your own child, you will be happy about it put yourself in her shoes for once this is really wrong and for me i don't even understand why people will be happy or he will feel like saying his wife is number one is something to be proud about what happened to one and only how are we living one and only to number one are you seeing struggle with the man struggle with the man it's like we should be leaving some of these people to hustle when you finish hustling and your eyes clear and now you can choose your wife that maybe that time it is correct because there's a way poverty used to make you make some people humble they will choose wife now the wife will stay and manage with them the moment money will come now their body will not be different shout will come in their taste will change and everything guys i know i speak the truth let me know your thoughts in the comment section below so some people that are defending him said okay that um you're married at the age of 22 he was really young she was also very young and another angle where I, I actually feel like they have a point is because when you marry at 22 it almost seems like he married too early he did not do bad things and it's at this old age of 40 when other men are settling down and and building their homes this is when he decides to sow his wild oats does it even make sense uh, forcing your children into a blended family he has a daughter he has a teenager and his daughter is almost the same age as when has his wife when the wife um, got married to him because daughter is 17 i think the wife got married to at 18. this is a lot guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section like do, do you feel like yo did all this because he feels like he missed a certain enjoyment part of his life and also this is where i i actually feel like it becomes more different as much as you feel he broke his wife's heart what of the children what of his daughter? This is, this is your father. This is your idol. A lot of my commenters were relating to this story as to their childhood. People that their parents, um, their fathers left, their mom, like when, when the marriage, after four, 24 years with seven children, after 18 years with five children, different people had this type of stories. It doesn't make sense. I feel like guys, should, should, you should consider the impact on your children. Minus the wife. You're not punishing just the wife. I mean, consider your children. Do you know the amount of rejection a child will feel? Are we not enough? There are many questions they ask. I've done several videos on this channel about the psychological trauma that comes with um, divorce and um, separated homes and, and stepchildren and all of that. It affects children a lot. And I feel it's selfish for you as a man to, because you cannot use protection or because you're careless, you bring your children to start experiencing this level of trauma. It is bad. And now, which mouth do you have as a father to tell your 17-year-old daughter to stay away from men when you, you cannot even zip up? What mouth are you going to have as a strict father? Maybe he was also a strict father. What mouth? Is it not shameful? Like, the daughter will be looking at you like, what? How? <laughs> hey, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I don't know if people will talk to this point. I know another point is a lot of people are saying, 
after all he did the right thing he he uh, married her and people that are in support that she's not a side chick she's a wife i don't think you understand what happened they were dating these people were committing fornication and adultery they were dating behind the scenes for years information reaching us of course allegedly that they were dating he did sleep with her once that the pregnancy entered this is something that has been happening for you to start sleeping with somebody to the point that you're sleeping with the side chick unprotected that level of comfort you don't even you're not afraid of stds carrying to the innocent wife you're not afraid of of all sicknesses like there are so many angles to it this is a case of a man marrying his mistress it's not it's just it because she had they were they were dating for long she has gotten pregnant and given birth to his son and then he went ahead to marry her so don't even make it right it doesn't even solve the problem or cleanse the sin simply because he married his mistress i hope you understand like let me know your thoughts i know that some people are going to run in is it your business is it the first catholic to marry two wives it doesn't justify madness simply because you're not the first person to be mad that doesn't justify anything. Like that angle is even lame. And uh, why are you people jumping on him? And uh, after all, uh, it's make women that used to come. Oh, after all, some people were hailing Regina. I don't think there was anybody hailing Regina. And Regina married a man that had told all his wives that I mean he he's going to definitely marry more wives. So all the wives were aware. They were even more welcoming because they know the kind of home that they married into. It's like marrying a laughing of Oyo and expecting fidelity. Um, God rest his soul. I know he he just recently passed. But you understand when you marry a polygamous person you know what you're getting into but this one was like blindsiding guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section below the utter disrespect for him to have a side chick for years commit adultery go ahead to marry her be paid bride price behind the scenes without the wife's consent like she doesn't even need to agree she just needs to be aware that's disrespectful. I don't I don't know if people understand this thing. And you people know that me, I like PRO. A lot of people will be like, I see, you like PRO, you like talking about PRO. What do you think would have been the best way? Don't worry, I'm going to tell you the best way. This or our Mr. President, be whatever post he was running for, the best way he should have handled this thing. First, there was one um Nollywood actor, his name is um Tichi D um Chikere. For those of you that used to watch Nollywood back then, this one his his marriage, eh? He was married to one particular lady, Sophia. I guess and then after like 10 years or more it's in scattered he now went to marry actress in fact when i heard of this story it was this it was almost the same time um, um storyline same with angelina jolie you went to act film and went to find love that kind of this thing and i always say and i repeat you can never build a happy home on another woman's tears write it anywhere put it as tattoo if you build happy home is them is god is sleep what is karma sometimes you don't even need to believe in god so um teacher did now found it uh, needful to support he said uh, yo based on brethren and he wrote um yo tide or dogu you know most women and men criticizing you are worse in the private um this society is full of hypocrites anyway social media is not a, a court real court lies with the law and god almighty somebody now commented now said see madness now he is still better than you at least he stayed with one woman for 17 years you you can't keep one woman for two weeks retard um he now that's um chidi now replied the person said my first marriage lasted 11 years my second marriage um lasted seven years until she she took her things and snuck out of the house the problem with some of you women is that you think you can run the world because men don't talk maybe one day i'll tell my story maybe if i feel really if I feel I really need the love of one track minded people like you now get out of my page. So basically he's saying his own side of the story, their own story. When the marriage even packed up, nobody even paid them attention because it's the same thing. You went in to make another woman cry. It's the same thing with Stella Damascus. You went in to make another woman cry. That one self has packed up. This is something that is set in stone. You can never build a happy home on another woman's tears. Now, let me tell you how um, yo, a doctor would have done this thing. Because I understand that there's a reason why people are paid millions, tens of millions, for image consultancy, for PR. Now, you, the deed has been done because nobody's perfect, nobody's above mistake. Let's say it is a mistake, okay? You have, it has happened, it has happened. You're a man. Sit your wife down and tell her it has happened. This has happened. Do you understand? This is what I want to do. She will cry, she will this. Yes, fine. This is behind um, the scenes, okay? Own up to it. Inform your wife. Now, tell her, okay, Saturday, because you, if you're going to pay bride price, it's not sudden now. It's something you know of. Tell her, okay, we are going now. Just so that she's not blindsided. She's heartbroken, yes, but inform her. 
inform her then you put out a proper statement before the bride price you put out a proper statement first of all informing nigerians apologizing to your wife because no matter how you see it you you're coming out for the number one seat to rule 200 million people this is not a time to just talk anyhow and bring all those your your pride into social media that doesn't make sense because those two posts reek of pride of, of pride you apologize to your wife you're sorry something happened you got a lady pregnant and as a responsible man you have decided to pay her bride price i'm telling you guys the truth as a pr person as someone that understands image consultancy this thing would help the mind of people yes we'll be disappointed but we are seeing that he has apologized to his wife he has informed his wife and informed the family of the lady that he's going to pay um her bride price because he's a responsible you know it will become a different argument but coming from the angle of blindsiding her and i just want to show the world my son i love him like i love other children as if they drag with you and uh, see me this picture of my second wife then the next morning you say you put the picture of your wife number one what kind of insult is that this person doesn't even have the the decorum of an sug president you're saying nigerian president what are you saying if you're defending this thing do you understand pr tell me in the comment section what do you think he should have done better is he not supposed to put out a proper statement informing us there's a way you carry the public it's not our business but it's, it's something that will blow out of proportion i have apologized to my wife for how i treated her i know it is a shock but nobody's above mistakes you twist the words this is how it works i have apologized to my family my father um, the legend himself because that way you even exonerate your father from your madness you you exonerate the old man because this is a 40 year old um, person making his own decision we shouldn't even be bringing the father's leg inside do you understand this is a pr statement of you have come and placed yourself like guys i have killed myself there's nothing to kill again instead this guy is not even supposed to put the picture of his son and the wife he can say yes he's paying her bride price and let us go and dig out the picture he he's not even supposed to put her picture all he needs to do is stay off social media and leave that statement this is pr rule. this is image consultancy even if he doesn't win um presidency or whatever he can even write in that statement knowing fully well that you all knows that he doesn't even stand a chance with presidency he can write in that statement that because of all this and the the shame it has brought to his family he's willingly stepping down from the race even though he knows he doesn't have did you understand how how to gather favor how to prepare the hearts of people because a, a, a right thinking person seeing all this statement and everything who shall for at least one day two they will go rest at least you did not blindside the wife that is the most important i don't know why you people are even some people are siding him and saying he's did do you understand this angle i just came in from is it not much better is it not much palatable for us the general public knowing fully well that you have reported yourself to your wife you have told her everything even before you went ahead to marry this one like this person carried a whole nine months pregnancy gave birth and every oh my god like guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section below this is for me this is the best way that would have worked but of course they had their own thing and <laughs> you people know now before he will drop post mrs side chick went to comment on the her own is not even on this post i'm going to say it in the next video but guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section below hope you understood and learned, learned a thing of, or two if you disagree with any of my points please make sure to argue with respect down in the comment section don't insult anybody be cool let us talk our talk you know share your opinion without insulting somebody all right hope you enjoyed this video i remember your girl acid darling please check out my other videos make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye guys